Hi, this is Miss Young. Song Bird Song. This is a confession to sing Bird Song, Guru Arjun. Sardar Bahadur Jagat Singh, who wrote Science of the Soul. Equilibrium definition. A state in which opposing forces and or influences are balanced. Okay, now I'll get a picture of Singh. This is Singh. And that's his mother who's doing the confessing. If you marry a good man, you'll have a happy life, said uh, Gurinder Singh. And Dhoni, now Robin Birdsong, married a good man, Brother Wright, now Singh Birdsong. She had a happy life. I married a bad man. I had an unhappy life. Birdsong was a bad man. He was an idiot to think I, a Western woman, would agree to him having another wife in addition to me. <laughs> but he had planned to have her in my house in New York. And he planned for me and the kids to live in California. He had planned to keep her and their so-called child a secret. But I, and I say so-called because I'm not sure she was his child. Let me fix Josh Groban's picture here. Let me put it this way. Okay. All right, so, um, but I insisted, so he planned to have her in California and me in New York, but I insisted on coming back to New York from Tennessee to get the kids things before we moved to California. I said, this is what I said to him, and he planned to live in New York, L.A., and tour with Roy Ayers as his manager and hang out with Stevie Wonder. He had the Capricorn. I used to say Capricorn was the strongest sign. Now, Charan Singh, Gurinder Singh, have given me another rebirth where my moon is in Capricorn. Aha. The astral plane announcer said, I'm the strongest person in the world and the best mother because I stopped myself from killing Birdsong, myself, and the kids in the heat of unbridled crazy frenzy. I let Birdsong think he had overpowered me, a crazy person in the heat of aggression, of madness, has superhuman powers. I stopped the murderous flow. I stopped the momentum. The children were too important to me to kill, even in the middle of seemingly uncontrolled rage. Hell hath no fury like that of a woman scorned. Singh said to Robin, Mom is fierce. That's the day he was five years old when that happened. He was in the car with Robin. That's the day he, he decided she is fierce. And that's okay because I have a saber-toothed tiger in, an, in another life. I was a saber-toothed tiger, so he's right. Charan Singh sent for me via Shatima. I went to India. Three men in India at the Dara were chasing me. Dr. Eugene Kitts, a male nurse, and Stephen, the Englishman, son of a doctor born on Birdsong's birthday. I said, 
Just even see that fly. Look at it. Go away. I said to Stephen, with a look of horror, My God, you're born on my ex-husband's birthday. Stephen said, I wouldn't hurt you, love. I couldn't take a chance on loving another man. When he betrayed me, I would go crazy. And this time, I might not be able to stop myself. I mean, so I knew my children needed a father figure present in their life. I wrote master, or else I asked him in my mind to send me a husband of his choosing. Eugene came to New York, still wanting to marry me. He had a ticket to come to Hawaii, where he out because he asked me to postpone Some girl was bothering him, trying to push her way into his life. Oh, another rat, I thought. I said, fuck you, to him, then slammed down the phone. Then Michael Spear came to New York, to New York Sassong, which is a meeting. Joyce Johnson introduced me. I saw pain in his eyes like the pain in my arm, my heart, and soul. The um, man had been rejected by his mother, same as I had been rejected by my mother. He quickly told me he liked me. He was good looking. He had his long nose tweaked by a cosmetic surgeon before coming to New York. He was well-educated, had a job, and was well-bred. I said, I like you, too. A week or two after we met, he said, will you marry me? I said something like, I'd be honored to. He'd been sitting on the bed in Joyce's house. He fell back against the bed, relieved like he'd done a very hard thing. When I saw him, when I saw the pain in Michael's eyes, I felt so sorry for him, but I believed I could help him with my talk and share therapy. At some point, he told me he'd come to New York to die. I figured out he was filled with guilt. You can get rid of guilt if you find the origin of it and own it with talk and share therapy. The night before the wedding, 